she made a contract with her own self to save the nation, strictly adhered to it for over five centuries without once wavering, and even fooled the heavenly principles in the end. I have great respect for approaches to justice that place exacting demands not only on others, but also on the self. Though her divinity has vanished, and the throne of the Archon is no more, Farina will go down in Fontaine's history as a god of justice worthy of recognition. For five centuries, I dueled the Raiden Shogun in my personal realm of consciousness to confirm the steadfastness of my will. <laughs> Yet this Farina you speak of, though possessing only a frail human body, committed herself to acting out her part every second of every day for five hundred years. A true battle of the spirit. Her willpower has indeed reached the level of a god. People often say that wisdom isn't about what you know, but knowing what you can change. It is beyond question that the prophecy was carved into Ermin so long ago. And while it may look like nothing has changed, it also seems like everything has. I think we both know her to be smart enough to turn the fate of the world around. A bard must be versed in both music and song. But a stage performer requires far more skills than just these. Hey, don't you think we should invite her over to put on a show at the next Windbloom Festival? Huh? You want me to talk about how she saved Fontaine? Well, I mean, she's such a talented artiste, it's no wonder. I wouldn't be surprised even if she'd saved the entire world. Oh.